I'm Dan Ungaro with Soundscape Car Audio in Plano, Texas. Today we're going to talk about how to wire up a dual voice coil subwoofer. When wiring up a dual voice coil subwoofer, it's important to understand that both voice coils need to be hooked up. I've run across some people that just want to hook up one and if that blows then they use the other one. It's not, that's not the way that it works. You want to hook up both of these in here. Uh, there's two ways you can hook it up. Uh, this particular subwoofer is a 2 ohm dual voice coil sub, so it's either going to run at 1 ohm or 4 ohms. And I'll show you how those work. Uh, when you wire it in parallel, that's going to put it down to 1 ohm. And this is how you do that. Take your wires, your speaker wires here. You want to pay close attention to your positives and negatives on this. Because you don't want to get it backwards. So you hook up your positive of one voice coil and connect it into the positive of the second voice coil. Your negative from one voice coil goes on to the negative of the second voice coil. So they're together, essentially acting as one, one voice coil together. Then you take your connection that's going to the amplifier or you know, to the inside connection of the, of the enclosure. You want to keep your same polarity Take your positive and connect that in with the positive and your negative with the negative. So what should happen now when you test it with your voltmeter? When you test the impedance, you should come out with one ohm on that. If you come up with something different, you need to check your work and do it again. So if, you're, if your amplifier is not one ohm stable, and a lot of amplifiers aren't, so you want to check the, the manual on that, you want to hook it up in series. For that, it's a little bit trickier. You want to hook the positive of one voice coil up to the negative of the other voice coil. And then the leads that are going to the amplifier you want to hook your positive to the remaining positive and the negative to the remaining negative. Then when you test these, being that it's a dual 2 ohm, it should read at a 4 ohm. Again, if it's not correct, then you want to go back and check your work again. So that's how you wire up a dual voice coil subwoofer. I'm Dan Ungaro with Soundscape Car Audio.